76 gallons. Nothing there. Uh, one to eight decimal nine zero five zero for contact. Coming before two nine child data, please do destination as filed. Initially climb VFR to five thousand feet, QNH one zero one seven, squawk seven zero seven five, and frequency contact after your frequency one two eight nine zero five, November four to nine child delta. Clearance correct, November four to nine at child delta. Okay, let's go. Fantastic. Alpha Papaiko. Alpha Papaiko, Epina Moena. Alpha Sierra Golf on final. Alpha Sierra Golf, clear to land. 1805. Clear to land, Sierra Excel, Sierra Golf. Ah, beautiful. Victor, request taxi to uh, club. Alpha Sierra Victor, 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 November 429er Child Delta Yasas, radar contact over Tatoi, passing now 4,600 feet, continue climb to flight level 110. I would fair like flight level 100 if possible, November 9 Child Delta. Child Delta climb to flight level 100. 100 November 9 Child Delta. But which heading? I just go on your route. Oh, that's what I do, I just start reaching towards Corinthos. Yeah. Now I will wait until we reach some speed here, uh, maybe 140 or something, and then uh, once it uh, stabilizes, then I don't need to do any more. Yeah, uh, the, the ride rider anymore. <laughs> yeah, the best thing to do is always to look for a true airspeed rather than an indicated airspeed. Yeah, yeah. And then a true airspeed of about 160 to 170 is a good ride. Right. Uh, do you want? To, would you open. prefer open wide open throttle or? Well, I um, if the throttle's wide open and it's at less than 75%, which yes. it is, yes. I then tend to back off the throttle to go to 2600 RPM. Yes. That's what I do. Oh, I feel like I'm on the love boat. That's not love boat, I have the love boat. <laughs> I the music, I mean, it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, went for scrap recently, <laughs> after so many years. The actual love boat. <laughs> It's getting a little cold, yes. Now, then it's easy. Okay, so here it is. Okay, fantastic. So, um, there's going to be a, probably a an arrival. Okay, so what is the arrival? So, do we have the arrival yeah, plates as yes, well? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Got everything. Um, we don't know what's going to be there. We don't know anything. I'm just, I'm just guessing that the arrival is going to be the Hipton. One to eight and one three. Uh, one three nine nine. One E four. Uh, one E or one N. Yeah. So which runway do you think they're on? I think it's going to be northerly runway the thirty two. Yeah. So it's probably going to be runway three two. Yeah. And um. So yeah. So we got the arrival here. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Um, yeah. So all arrivals um, come in from a a waypoint. Yes. So, so, yeah, so what we're discussing here is basically the standard terminal arrival routing, which is going to bring us in from Ibtin. Ibtin being one of the flight plan. The final part of our flight plan there. So there's Ibtin. And then that Ibtin will take us all the way in to Amivi, which actually is the initial approach fix for the VOR for runway 32 or the VOR Delta, which is probably another VOR approach that comes in uh, from there. And then that would then link us in from the initial approach fix into the approach for the VOR. Yeah, but what about the uh, NAV has also MEV in it? Okay, absolutely. So therefore, here, this plate here is not quite 100% correct because we also have 
Yeah, a MEV in the initial approach fix. So if we go into the approach for runway 32, then a MEV is one of the initial approach fixes. So what we have is we have our en route flight plan. MEV is this star here. There's a MEV on there. They're departures, so it would be one of the top ones. The top one, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That goes to a MEV. So the one you were looking at was for oh, the other right. end of the runway. Ah, oh, right, yep, yep. Yeah, it says viewer, viewer, yeah. he doesn't say... So basically it's saying that the... Yeah, you know, it does go to a MEV and a MEV is part... I mean, you could load the R, the RNAV approach in there now and have a look. All right. Let's change that. You could load the arrival and load the um, the RNAV approach if you wanted to, and just see how it works. Radar contact at level three five zero. There's a convergence. That's that's the arrival. Correct. But now, if you loaded the approach, it would then take away that bit and then use a MEV as the initial approach. Shall we do that then? Yeah. load that, then what you'll see now is you'll have the arrival, so keep on going down, keep on going down, there's a MEV, okay, it hasn't, uh, okay, because there's that waypoint in there, it hasn't taken that one out and linked it in, because this star is for the VOR approach, and the uh, star's not for the, uh, okay, no, maybe about 7,600 feet, and then when, well, after we get past a MEV, then what are we going to do? Okay, so when we get to a MIV, then we have to descend to remove labels to 6,300. 6,300, that's right. But I will not do that now. Uh, no, you should wait until you're after a MIV. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. correct. Yeah. yeah. Minimum report uh, 717. Report 717 will descend according to minimum of infant nine child delta. That's okay. the 717. Correct. Yeah, so this little bit here is not to scale. Yeah, yeah, so you're right. So therefore the aeroplane will only display here. When we get... We can see that it will display because a little yeah. world yeah. 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 doesn't have a, a line through yeah. it. No, so that's yeah. good. Or yeah. Right. So there we go. So we're starting to turn at IO 713. So what's next? After 713, then the next one is 714, 5200. Okay, let's do that. That's it, good. Just do any of oh, your right. approaching the end. I could, what should I do with the mixture? Leave it rich, rich now? Yeah, absolutely, riching it up. So once you get Third to about 6,000 feet, 4,200. Okay. So you're sort of a little bit high. I know. So you have to make a bit of an effort to try and get it out of the sky a little bit quicker. That's it, go on, do like 1,200 feet a minute. Go on, get it going down. That's it, don't be afraid to do that. There you go, and just back off the throttle a little bit more. Get flaps. That's it. That's it. Get flaps when you can. So remember, I said it would be a good idea to put flaps on all the way back there. You're right. Just, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. There you go. The engine, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, that's. Uh, Good. Once we get past 716. And after 716, next to one, 3200. Okay. Past, uh, yeah, 3200. Sorry about the big rate of descent. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Always like that in this place. Yeah. Oh, is that the wrong way? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's oh. the wrong way. Oh, don't, don't, don't panic about it. Okay, don't worry. So now the speed's come off. Let's lower one stage of flap. Yeah. You know, you're about to disconnect and dive it out no, of the no, sky. No, no, no. So, yeah. you know, just relax. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> just fly Bye. the approach. Okay. That's it. If you couldn't see the runway because you were in cloud, you'd just be flying the approach. Yeah, flying the approach. That's it. Great. So now you've got a slower, slower. Uh, airspeed, yeah. which is great, so you should now be able to gain back possibly some of that altitude. 
Okay, and when you get to 3-2... Yeah, 3-2, then uh, we, we will level off and then I will just continue with the same rate of descent, so down to 2,600, which is the minimum. Uh, 2,420. 2,420, yeah. So 2,500 we can put on there. Never go full flaps unless you've disconnected the autopilot and you are committed to continue visually oh, around right. the aeroplane. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But if I think if I put the full flaps, so brakes off in the current six meter reach, flaps and fuel pump on. Okay, so you can call them at 717. November 9, Charlie Delta, 717. Uh, Roger, uh, November, Charlie Delta, continue approach. Continue approach, November 9, Charlie Delta. I think they've got a car on the runway. That's right. But there you go. So you're coming down quite nicely. So 2,420 is going to be your minimums. Yeah. 2,420. Yeah. Uh, so, so there you go. You're coming down quite nicely. Delta, wind calm, runway 32, clear to land. Clear to land, went for night Delta. Okay, so try not to let it get below 100 knots in during the approach. With only one stage of flaps, you need a bit more power, so you need to try and keep it at 100 knots. I think I can land now. Okay, in that case, disconnect the autopilot, put full flap down, and then go for the landing. Right. Okay. So all you've got to do is get yourself dealt with with the pappies. So yeah, just I'm still high. Yeah, a little bit high, so no need to rush it, but yeah. you come down and try and get the two reds and two whites. Five hundred above. Two reds. That's it. Brilliant. Three reds. Now look at the runway at the end. That's it. Yes. So as you cross the green runway edge lights, runway threshold lights. Yeah. Look at the far end of the runway and gently start closing the throttle. That's it, great. Far end of the runway, start closing the throttle, don't put more power on, that's it. Keep on closing, keep on closing, keep on closing. Can't close the throttle, that's it. Lovely, look at that, brilliant. Good job. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. That's a, bit, a little bit of vibration. Uh, just. Uh.